Alrighty. You can do that and do it. Save on Fire Department, getting strong on December 27th, 1995. This is 36 Main Street in Avon, the Avon High School right across the street. This is Main Street, the big strip. Anyway, we're here at the Fire Department. Walk this way, and I'll show you around my last day at Avon Fire. In some ways that's good, in some ways it's bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> Your camera woman, by the way, Wendy Hall. From Hi. Indiana. <laughs> we locked yet, right? Yep. Maybe. My blazer, of course, as dirty as can be. Tim's vehicle next to that. Wendy's car. Scott King, sheriff deputy's car. One hop from the truck. There's Doug Dickerson's brand new truck, Pride and Joy. Oh, wow. That is a nice one. Uh-huh. Dan's uh, van. I think he rents it for like 200 a month, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new building. That's the old building. This used to be the backyard. It's been a year ago they added all this on. And it's pretty nifty. It's pretty nice. I'll let you step in. This is well known as the vestibule. The vestibule here at Avon Fire, the vestibule because you're entering our sanctuary. Here is, uh, <laughs> pictures of the original fire stations, the original ambulance bay, and pictures there of the original firefighters. There she is, our secretary, Linda Rader. Linda, say hello to the camera. camera. Hi, Linda. Hello, hello Linda. Linda. Very good. <laughs> Linda Razor, our secretary here at Avon Fire. Just taking a little last day tour thing, you know. Something to remember you by. <laughs> <laughs> office right there on the very end is Chuck Valentine's. is the conference room. Chief Andy Burnett's office. And down this way we'll find the chief, <laughs> Bob Wellington. Everyone else is out today. Bob is the only one dedicated to coming to work, so here he is, chief. Say hello to the camera. Hi, Hi Chief. Hello, Chief. As you can see, check out Chief Wellington's office here. He's a big uh, Robbie Gordon fan. Jeff. Jeff Gordon, yeah. Right Jeff Gordon. Who's Robbie Gordon? Jeff Gordon. I thought it was Robbie. Robbie Gordon's an IndyCar. Oh, okay. It's all right. Going this way. This is our storage room and our copy room. We make all our copies. And here is the fire pole. The beautiful fire pole. It's all brass pole. I polish it daily. <laughs> As you can see, pressure's put down the pole, opening the door, just like so. Cool. Here's the main men's restroom. Right there. Uh, here is the day room, ladies and gentlemen. Deputy Scott King. <laughs> From left to right, we have paramedic student. What's your name? Doug. Doug. Hi, Doug. And his, his preceptor, of course, Doug Dickerson, up that way. Paramedic Doug Dickerson. That's Dougie. Giddy! And here, bitching at me, is, of course, my captain, <laughs> Tim Binch. Hi, and Tim. And in the far chair is Ron Thompson. He just kind of sits around. He's too old to do what he's doing. You can see it's after Christmas, so we still got our Christmas tree up. Large screen television. Four big recliners and two I'll small recliners. Large, you want to see large. <laughs> Focus over here, Lindy. Put it on a wide angle, though. You gotta get his ego in there. <laughs> we have a uh, office for the sheriff deputies. Of course, this is our kitchen and day room. And my family. Oh, I want to get in too. Put your butt in. They can't see us, but. <laughs> All right. Uh, I can't. Yeah. I would like you, for you to explain to us and all the people that's going to see this on camera, how do you use an albuterol treatment? Albuterol treatment? You just put the albuterol right in there. Okay, are condoms for use underwater? Condoms? Yes. Can you use a condom? I can say condom. You're better Can you use condoms underwater? Doug, can you use condoms underwater? Uh, I'm going to try it. Alright, here's our watch desk. This is some Mori watch. <laughs> We're now upstairs. Is it working okay? Mm-hmm. All right, let me turn some light on for you here. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I can see! <laughs> this is the men's locker room, restroom area. And of course, this is the urinal you do not use. Because look right above it. You gotta be careful. Take you into the. Um, the big bunker. The bunk room. This is uh, the bunk room. We have lockers. We have seven beds, 
for seven guys. Three different lockers per bed, of course, A, B, and C shifts. This is the A shift, by the way. And uh, there's Doug's bed. Get a picture of Doug's wife, Andy, since he just got married. This is all Doug's wife. That's not the wife, that's the wife. <laughs> that's the dog. That's Keisha dog. Okay. That's Doug's locker. Of course, Tim right across the way here. Captain Binge in his bed. Last shift we short cheated him. And set his alarm for 3.30 in the morning. Oh. <laughs> and then this is my bed. Kind of in the process of moving out, packing up. Boo. Go ahead and get on my bulletin board there and stuff. But this is my locker. We're moving out today. Kind of miss this place. Kind of miss a lot. But um, at the same time, looking forward to where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Ready? Moving out of the bunk room. Of course, here is the pole. The top of the pole. The top of the pole. Let me demonstrate. Go down. Woo! <laughs> uh, he's gone. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> secret. I didn't vacuum today. Uh oh. I Doug's restroom because this is the only place he showers. So this is Doug's shower. He showers room. alone. It's actually for the purpose of <laughs> a big shower. <laughs> the big family shower. Uh, that's for in case we hire any women firefighters. This is our work up area, workout area. Cool. <sighs> Wanna work out? Try to about once a shift, but we don't always do what we try to do. You're right. There's the workout area. <laughs> Here's our laundry room, where we clean house, we cleaning cart, here's our French maid duster. <laughs> this is future expansion room, we got a ping pong table, play good singles and doubles. And here is the library. Ooh, take notice there are big books. library. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of like an extra computer room, where I do inspections and pre-plans and all that fun stuff. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah. Here is the captain's office. You can see it's in power position per Jim Miller. And the phone is ringing. And the phone's ringing. <laughs> and we're not going to answer it. <laughs> uh, it rings all over the building. That's the future expansion room we were just in. The ping pong room. There's another one that's always locked, keeps uniforms and such. And then back to where we started. Down below us here is the vestibule. But we have a beautiful scenic view of Avon. Beautiful. Cool, huh? mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Breathtaking. Oh, I must have vacuumed up here. <laughs> 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 but now he's rocking my, my video camera making videos. Yeah, making videos. And Tim's on the phone. And I'm on the telephone. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Doug's up today. Normally he's sleeping. <laughs> this is the uh, pop machines, candy machines. Tornado! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. It's okay. The training room. Actually, it's not a training room. It's an authorized meeting facility. And don't flush the toilet. If it was a training room, you could have, like, say, EMT classes in it. <laughs> this is a kid who's taught how to use an abuterol treatment. Yes, it is. Back many, many, many years ago. I remember, but I'm not going to bring any of it. The IV. Let's go outside. Oh, yeah, and see it the was trucks. the IV. See, Ken also got the IV ready before he was ready with his IV. <laughs> Can you hold this? I wanted to make sure. I'll go ahead and set that bag up. I believe it was the term he used. I wanted to make sure that I could hit the vein before we wasted a bag of saline. He's a rookie. I understand. <laughs> Singing Jim Miller here. He's a probie. Come on in. This is the ambulance bay. This is the original bay before they added everything else on. We've got some tag along. Uh, this is our new box system. I might want to get a shot of this. I'll look at this. Actually, this is just a picture of a box system. Uh. That's all that really is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to take you to the far side, this is our, our primary transporting ambulance. 
You want to see in the back? Well, I was going to take her over there first. Please, you can do this first. <laughs> Since Tim wants to help, you show him around there, Tim. Step right up, Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to help you. Let me, let me help you here. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> Why don't you hop up in there and show him around, Tim? Well, I need light. Open. I need light. This is an ambulance. Is that enough light? Yes, thank you. There we go. This is a nice truck. This is Medic 5. This is a state of the art. I like state this truck. State of the art. This is, this 95. Is definitely state of the art. Stroke. We used a Marquette monitor. Tell us what we got everywhere. Oh, uh, over here's all our IV supplies. We're still teaching a kid how to start an IV. <laughs> actually. Keep over angios, blood tubes, some of our drugs, atropine, D50, epi, lidocaine. We only use uh, saline here. We have some bags of 250 D5. Which keep up here. Where do we keep our right? thousand bags of saline? Um, we keep those in uh, in the captain's office. Oh, okay. That's where we keep all that. <laughs> Some more drugs here. Portelium, nitro, what have you. And our BLS stuff on this side with an OB kit and some bandaging supplies. You can see here we um, keep our cot stocked with all the equipment. Mm -hmm. So everything's ready to go. Of course, where I'm going, I've got four people on my truck. Therefore, we can all just grab a bag and won't have to carry anything. <laughs> they can carry the cot. <laughs> yeah. You can land the cot and carry you inside. <laughs> Here, we're, of course, you're just used to two man, just a medic and an EMT. So. Mm -hmm. Two personnel. Two personnel. Not to say that. To be politically correct. And by the way, if there's any good looking ladies that are watching this tape, I'm single. About five, <laughs> for now, but you've got to remember. I'm about 5'7. <laughs> <laughs> so weigh like about 155 pounds. <laughs> I'm about 145 pounds. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He's a man of total plutonicism. Wouldn't want That's him. right. I'm safe. He's awesome, Clean. girls. I'm safe. And All right, Wendy, let's move on along. Where <laughs> you get the 900 number. <laughs> this is an engine suit. This is our primary extrication engine. We uh, carry, what is this, Mac? Is that what the brand is? Did you tell them about the ruts? This will leave in people's yards when you yeah, pull we'll them in the yard? Yeah, we'll leave ruts. I've yeah. tested it. It'll leave ruts, <laughs> huge ruts. Big ones, big ones. These are our spreaders. In Ooh. Here. Easy, Wendy. <laughs> so those are our spreaders. On the other side, we have our cutters. This is my truck today. This is Medic 1. This is our non-transporting paramedic unit. Goes to Danville, North Salem, Indiana. Um, goes to Coatesville. Any place farther out, that, that's where we take this because they don't have paramedics, therefore we're their paramedic. So this is my truck today. Got my shades in place. Up. I already used my gloves, I need to get my gloves ready again. And, of course in the back I've got my fire here too. Get this lowered down. Always keep my gloves ready. And the truck ready to go. And of course I put my fire gear in the back. Unless I get a fire run, then I need to throw it on the engines. My helmet, mm -hmm. this is mine, the only gear I'll be keeping. Then I got my boots and my coat in here. So that's all my bunker gear. And we on this we carry, of course, a medicine bag, a pediatric bag, a monitor, just general ALS equipment. We just throw it on to Danville's ambulance or PMH ambulance, whoever we're using. We just throw it in their ambulance. Here we have our storage area. Not real big, kind of crammed in here, but we got a lot of stuff in here. Yep. <laughs> All right, to take you through and show you the engines bay now. Engine 2 just happens to be over here. It's the only place we can fit it. Um, Medic 5 and our aerial ladder, which is in the next bay over, both came on the same day. I believe it was like January or February of last year, so they're fairly new at this time. This is Medic 6. This is our old ambulance or our backup ambulance. Uh, I'll show you the back of it. I can open the back doors a bit. Here's our squad also, our strike rig. It's currently out of service, just got a new engine and a new transmission in it. It blew on a run uh, about a year ago and we just got it back, just got it fixed. You want to come around yep. here? This is Medic 6. I'm not really going to put the lights on or anything, but I'll just show you a quick interior view of that. It's set up exactly the same way as our primary truck. It's just a couple years older. I think it's a 92 maybe. This is our primary tanker, or primary, uh, actually our secondary engine. This is engine three. 
Um, holds 1,500 gallons of water, and we'll use it a lot of times also as mutual aid. Of course, we don't have a lot of hydrants, so we use dump tanks for mm -hmm. our water cleaning. Engine 4 of is currently out of service, so we took a new pump on it. Um, we've got, had a lot of pump problems here recently, and it's an old truck, so the volunteers are going to take it home and, and fix it. Ooh. And this is our aerial. This is a little ladder one. This is our newest uh, piece of fire equipment. And um, like I said, we got it the same day we got the ambulance. It's a 75 foot stick aerial. And for the past year, I've been kind of the chauffeur of this until uh, I got my medic certification. And at that time, we started rotating through it. We do have three uh, paramedics on this shift. Tim, Doug, and myself are all paramedics. Um, and therefore, we rotate off the trucks, our primary, our secondary, and our non-transporting paramedic trucks. We rotate off of them. Show you the inside of the aerial. You can go and hop up on them. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice. We got, of course, of course a um, poor communication system inside. That's been my truck for the past uh, year, pretty much. And of course, we carry um, on this. It only carries 300 gallons of water, but we carry a lot of our rope rescue equipment, also just a lot of um, general fire scene equipment. And it's got a really nice, they're getting for us, Tim. Yeah. It's got a really nice uh, ladder system in the back. It's kind of confusing now because we just changed to a brand new radio system. We just changed to new frequencies today, so we're on our own, fre old, own frequency now. So it's kind of hard to get uh, oh. everything worked out. Hmm. This is Dan Smith. Hi, Dan's Dan. Brownsburg, one of our new employees. Dan, this is my little self-made tour of Avon Fire. Just kind of showing him around. Let's see what Dan's doing. Come on in. Dan's kind of like the Bob Vila of Avon. Well, what's our project today, Bob? <laughs> Fixing the axe. Fixing the axe. Once I have the tool, I'm going to get out my van. Yeah. What technique are you going to use following that? Uh, uh, beveling. Slam it on the ground until it's on the handle. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, well experienced maintenance <laughs> personnel here at Avon. And me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you then. Okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Oh, we got a basketball goal it's on wheels. We can roll it outside or whatever. Here's Hose Dryer. This is the gear storage room and also room for gear washing and drying. Upstairs is kind of the clothing washing and drying. This is for gear and towels. The gear room. Ooh. The gear room. <laughs> That's about it. Any questions? No questions. No questions? No. All right. Let's go ahead and shut it down for now. We get back here. Wendy. Huh? Let's get back here. Before it gets destroyed. Oh. Love you, Ken. <laughs> Can I look at it? Of course you can look at it. Yeah, this part's coming. Well, thank you. No jokes, not me. Right there. You guys. Subtle. Very subtle. Things are acting up again. Looking for money? <laughs> From a guy that makes more than either one of us. Seriously? Yeah, because he never spends any. How about that for someone here? Juggle one. Or Tim and Mike might have picked up. You didn't make it the same way he does. Oh, oh uh, I made it with what I had. <laughs> Ken's a little bit more creative. Well, thank you. You're welcome, buddy. That's really nice. I might, I mean, got eat a piece of cake today, so. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to miss you guys, too. Doug. Dan, you get to cut Dan, it. Mr. Fruit yeah. Salad. You get to cut it. I get to cut it, huh? Mm -hmm. Then you can wash the dishes. Go grab some dishes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you did help pay for it, so we took it out of the ship to get it. <laughs> I was going to pitch in a few bucks, so. <laughs>
That we didn't get Ken on the video camera was your pant size before you started here and your pant size after you started here because they didn't increase. Just one of those before and after shots, you know, showing me growing over the, the months at Avon. When he started here, he looked like Dwayne Little, and he's leaving looking like Jim Miller. Oh! Turn the camera off. Good, good. We'll, uh, continue our little tour of Avon. I figured I'd take you above Avon. In fact, 75 feet above Avon. We are now on top of Ladder One, Avon's very own aerial, and uh, we'll take you a little aerial view of Avon here. Get this strap around my neck, because if I don't. Tim will kill me if I drop it. You can see this is northern Avon. Mostly residential. Of course the waterway there off the ladder. And this is US 36. Downtown Indianapolis is straight ahead there. I don't think you can really catch Indianapolis from this location. Yeah, you can slightly see a building there. That's Indianapolis. Back to Avon here. Highway 36. There's ladder one. Dan down below. Avon High School, and of course this is Southern Avon. There's the big four Conrail yards there. Some more of the grade schools. A lot of trees and a lot of residential back to that direction. Go back the other way, 360 back to Danville. North Salem, Clayton, all those out west. And this is our station. Anyway, that's Avon. And I'll be signing off because it's pretty damn cold up here. On the ground looking up, I can kind of show you some of the ladder's functions as Dan's doing operation today. Full function panel up and down, left and right, and of course extend and retract. Ken? It's uh, what time, Doug? About 3.30 in the morning, and they're about to take a run to, to Heartland Healthcare. This is Medic 5 in action. Avon's primary medical unit. Here they go. Just us, man. <laughs>